Hey everyone, this is Vildo Real, and today I I thought I'd showcase a game pretty much nobody's heard of by now. Well, actually, quite a few people know about this game. I haven't played it myself. Um, it's patch 1.3. Uh, it's called Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic One. Uh, this game's pff, almost as old as um, Warcraft 3. I haven't played it before, as I said earlier. I've got two mods installed. Um, one of them, it, it makes the game a little bit more um, balanced, and the other mod ups the audio quality, which doesn't really make a difference on your end, because due to hardware limitations, I'm unable to capture the microphone and the, uh, the stereo mix at the same time in very good audio quality. So, without further waiting let's get started okay new game character creation choose your class female no thanks like, I want a strong character that f fires a lot a skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and, stealth and guile an explorer most at home on the fringes of space a battle ready fighter with no equal in combat, so he's not as good. Scout. So he'll probably be better at finding items. The scout will probably be better at, at remaining undetected. And the soldier's probably just. Psh, psh, psh. I think I'll go with him then. <laughs> No, I want to take my time. Custom character, please. Oh, portrait, okay. Oh. Nah. Looks like me a little bit. <laughs> oh, what we got? These aren't bad. Sammy Wade, L. Jackson, no basketball. See, I'm looking at that and it looks pretty good. Ah, <laughs> gigs. <laughs> oh, all of these is a longer nose and like a different hairstyle, perhaps, and more. You know, those things on your face. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with him. Sure. Oh, I see. The attributes of your character apply bonuses or penalties to everything from combat to skill checks to force powers. I don't know too much about Star Wars and my lore. I don't know anything. Check each at each attribute to see what aspects of gameplay it can affect. Okay. Dexterity, haven't heard of that in a while. Strength measures physical power. A high strength adds modifiers to melee damage and chance to hit. Which is important for characters that use close-up combat weapons. Oh, I want guns, man. Let's see. Dexterity. Dexterity measures agility. Yeah, yada yada yada. Add modifiers. Ranged attacks. That sounds like my gut kind of guy, I think. Constitution represents health and resiliency. Uh, a high constitution adds modifiers to the vitality points gained at each level up. This is important for everyone. Okay, so I need dexterity and constitution, so I'll keep that up for my fingers to remember. Intelligence. Adds modifiers. <sighs> That's always good to have. But no, no, no. Wisdom. I don't know. I guess charisma, dexterity, and constitution. I don't know if this would be a good character. Let's see. I get 30. Oh, maybe it's a bit too high. 
I'm shooting myself in the foot, I bet, but I don't know how this game works and I can't take them away. In fact, that's max. No, no, no. Let's take a couple away. Put them. I. You see, I'm thinking a soldier character with just guns might be a bit boring. I'm not sure. But I don't really want to play like a Jedi type that's always up close. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, I'm sorry if this is boring. I'm just trying to figure out where I should put my last couple of points in. Okay, let's put a few in here. Hell, if it maxes out at that... Point cost, no thanks, keep it at two for now. <laughs> I'm keeping it low, man. Uh, why not? Spread it out a bit. That looks pretty good to me. Should I? No, I want to play it the way I made it. Yeah, shooting myself in the foot. Skills. Each of your character's skills has a number associated with it. This is the skill rank and determines how good the character is with the skill. When using a skill to perform an action the rank is compared against a DC number it disconnect. For example to open a lock with a DC of 15 take your skill rank in security plus wisdom modifier plus D20 roll roll what the hell is that? <laughs> so it's like a dice roll or something? If the total is 15 or greater, the lock is opened. So I won't be doing a lot of lock picking or whatever. So it adds the skills together, and if it's plus 20, 15 plus, it'll open it. Hopefully, depending on, on the. The, the skill of the, the lock, right? I don't know. Oh, don't tell me this game is turn-based. Oh, great. That's just what I'll need. It's not. Ah. If this game's turn-based, I'm not even going to be playing it for that long, probably. I haven't played, like, a turn-based game in many years. I want guns, guns, but awareness is always active. That'll be good for my guy. How many do I get? Is that all? Better put one in there. Okay. I'm not sure if any of you out there have played. Um, Hellgate London, but there was a class which um, he fired from long range and like he had like a flybot thing. I'm thinking now I should try and make a character like like that class from the game. So um, uh, 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 the long range attacks with guns. I'm thinking, and I should be be able to to like r repair stuff, right? So let's put one in there. I don't have high wisdom now, I'm thinking. Yes. I guess that's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Feats. Some feats allow you... Feats. Allow you to use special items like heavy armor. Or... Implants. Other feats modify saving throws and skill checks during the game. And some feats... Power attack. I used during combat. Check the description for details on a specific feat. So it's like a perk. Yes, I want heavy. Heavy armor proficiency. I guess that means I can. I'm good at that, or I can power attack, power blast. Yes, pistol, rifle, heavy. Oh, that sounds sounds like my kind of character. 
Yes. What do I do? Do I... You do not yet have the necessary prerequisites to select this feed. Do you do not have selected? All right. Oh, so it progresses, I guess. Okay, so we want to start at a new one, right? Okay. Remove. Two weapon, no thanks. I want guns. Something good. Oh god, there's quite a few. Ooh. Nice. Blast the rifle. I'm thinking... Oh, but I've already got a bit of training. During the round. No, this is turn-based. Oh no, Dungeons to Dragons or something. I'm too young to be playing this kind of game. <laughs> okay, well, if this game's done well, it should be fun. The last turn-based game I played was um, a JRPG on the PlayStation 2. It was called Ark the Lad uh, Twi Twi Twilight of the Spirits or something. Is a really good game actually. Yes, please. Name Jonah Ave Avril or something. I don't know how to say that. A realistic name, a human name, definitely not Vildaril then. Uh. I don't know. Let's like put in my first name. My last name. Well, I'm not going to put my real one in, so uh, I'm trying to think of a... James. Role-playing names. Oh man, I hate doing this in Let's Play videos. Trying to think of a last name is, is wasting precious time! James something Isburn. Oh no... <laughs> James Shepard, okay. Uh, that... That's not very original, Shepard, but that could work. That's... You could say Shepard, but... James Shepard. <laughs> I'll go with that. Me, because I can't think of much else. Um, really? Veldoru in a game like this? No thanks. Yeah. Please be a tutorial. Combat is real time. Oh. That's good! I don't like turn-based games. Oh snap. Hopefully you can see this being played. You should be able to. But uh, let's see, right? <gasps> What's going on? Huh? Oh, at frame rate. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Oh, options. This is a bit like Morrowind, and it looks a bit like Morrowind too. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I look a little bit like... Um, Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, anyway. Yeah, who are... who the hell are you? Ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. If you can't hear his voice, if it's a little bit too quiet, I, I put up the slider for um for like voices higher than the music. But if it's too quiet, in my you know the next time I do a session, I'll watch this and I'll up it. But I've done quite a few tests and it should sound okay. Who's Bastilla? Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that. No, I didn't! I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Hey. Where it is, the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. Damn. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Yes, sir. Castle is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. 
Okay, let's go help Bastilla or Bastilla. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Sir, yes, sir. Where can I get? Where can I get my equipment? You can move the mouse to the edges of the screen to rotate the camera. Alternately, moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button will rotate the camera as well. Okay, a bit like well. To move towards the footlocker, hold down the right mouse button and face the camera towards it. Then hold down the left mouse button as well to cause the character to run forward. Oh, I have to click. Hopefully I can turn that off. I don't really enjoy that. You can left click on an object to select it. Once the footlocker is selected, left click on it again to perform the default action and open it. Okay. How's the frame rate? Uh, due to recording... It's a little bit lack... I don't know. Like, when, when I turn quick it lags, so... Sorry. This computer's alright, but... Honestly, it shouldn't be lagging. But uh, then again, I got the webcam and everything, so I guess... Uh, <sighs> turn off the shadows is the first thing I normally do in a game. Let's see if that made a difference. Uh, move the mouse to the edges of the screen to rotate Yes, the I know. Alternately, moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button will rotate the camera as well. To move towards the foot Oh, uh, you, you an imperial? Right you can left. Okay. Okay. A joke, and I've got no AA. I don't get it. it shouldn't that was weird it shouldn't be lagging left click well is right click I'm sorry I'm gonna be making a lot of um over comparisons to World of Warcraft I hope you don't mind that adrenal stamina I guess that's like a, a buff last rifle short sword <laughs> clothing don't tell me what med pack Thank you. Experience points. Is there like a bar or something? Somewhere? Okay, how do I equip this? Did I take it? Okay, so how do I equip it? <laughs> oh, you freaking Come fool. On, we have to hurry. The Sith might already be boarding the ship to try and capture Bastila. Put your equipment on so we can get out of here. How do, how do I equip my stuff? Because I'm a retard. Duh. Use the equip screen to equip the armor and weapons from your inventory. You can access this screen by selecting the equip menu icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Upper right. So f for you guys it's going to be that corner over there somewhere. Use the mouse to look through your inventory slots. The menu on the right displays items you can equip in each slot. Left click the mouse to select an inventory slot. Then scroll through the available items on the right and left click to equip one. Okay. Can you repeat that? <laughs> okay. Equipment. Yes. Alright, this doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's pretty easy to navigate, I gotta say. So I click on it and I drag it. I just click on it. Very nice. Very simple. Okay. What's that? The party inventory shows a list of... Oh yes, I think... I've seen this a couple of screenshots. I can actually have party members. That's going to be very cool. Just like a proper... Oh, I see. So I'm kind of grey. So that's in the light. That's like a Jedi and that's the Sith or whatever. I don't know. So that's good, that's bad. I don't know. I'm probably going to stay around that part. Okay, I'm not gonna read that right now. I've saw that earlier. I guess I go off. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with the party than on your own. Yeah. Thanks. Trusk. Hello, Trusk. <laughs>